20 cheap dollar store home decor ideas. It shouldn't always cost a lot to have beautiful decorations. Even for a small budget, there are many options to choose from. As a matter of fact, you can save money by combining a variety of decors with a small budget instead of choosing just one that gulps money. If you want to try the variety option, below are 20 cheap dollar store home decor ideas that you can choose from. Number 20. Paneled Mirror it's not only a cheap option, but also quite simple. You won't need more than duct tape and glue, which will only cost about $11. The mirror will look way different from regular ones after you finish paneling it. Number 19. Knockoff Mirror You'll need to get more mirrors for this one. You can use the mirrors that usually come in a woman's face powder compact. The round ones will be easier to use, but any mirrors of any shape will do. In addition to the mirrors, you will also need to get a rounded base. The base case is made of any material, only it must be able to be hung. Number 18. Mirror Boxes You still use mirrors, but these must have four right angles, i.e. they must either be rectangle or square-shaped mirrors. To form a box for each decor, you will use four mirrors. For the base, you may add one more mirror or any other material that can be glued to the mirror box. The mirror boxes can then be used as little storage containers or organizers for bathroom stuff, jewelry, or other things. They can also be used as bases. Number 17. Waste Basket You can make a decoration out of a waste bin that's not been used already for trash. Just twist the basket with some rope so it looks like an actual decoration. It's a very cost-effective idea. Number 16. Fabric Covered Bins not all bins should be for grub. If you watch what you dump in it, you can turn your waste bin into home decor. Simply choose a nice fabric to cover the bin with. You can get any fabric design for a low price if you don't already have one. Number 15. Candle Lamp Shade Glasses can be used for many other things besides drinking. For instance, you can use them to make a candle lampshade. If you already have some nice glasses at home, you will only need to buy some decorative papers. Just cover the glasses with the decorative papers to turn it into a candle lampshade. To make it even better, use the same type of glass. Number 14. Picture Frame Terrarium this is one idea to try if you like having house plants. It is a similar concept with the mirror boxes, but the decorations here will have a bigger size. Buy some cheap frames and glue the insides for the terrarium. Use the frames that are smaller for the top. The result will be a vase, which you can then place plants inside. Number 13. Picture Frame Jewelry Holder With just a picture frame, you can make a jewelry holder. This time, first cover the frame with linen, then insert as many cup hooks as you want to contain all the jewelry that you want to hold. Number 12. Picture Frame Luminaries This idea is to make your photo frames look more beautiful for your photos. It uses a similar concept with the photo frame terrarium. Glue four photo frames that are holding pictures together to form a box, then put in a luminous object like an LED candle inside the box. Number 11. Magnetic Memo Board If you are tired of your ordinary memo board, you can renovate it to have something with a bit of a different look. Get a metal burner cover that has a flat surface, beautify it with some decorative or patterned papers, and spray paint it to your taste. You'll need a magnet to hold the papers in place on your new memo board. Number 10. Mail Center Turn your shower caddy into a beautiful mail post. Paint the caddy with bright, blending colors. You can also do something else with the caddy, like put houseplants in it. Number 9. DIY Wreath Get some wreaths according to your budget. Next, take some plastic baskets and cut them downwards by the sides. Then glue the wreaths to the baskets. Number 8. Enamel Painted Vases this is simply applying enamel paint to vases to beautify them. Gather some old vases or get some new ones for a low price, then apply a variety of colors to them.
Number 7. Wall Decor for the Master Bedroom Make wall decorations for your bedroom on paperboards. Place a glass cloth on the paperboard. The idea is to create outlines on which you can paint on. Spray paint the glass cloth so that the outlines appear on the paperboard. Number 6. Decorative Tray You can make your serving trays look more attractive. Simply apply some glitter to the trays and then repaint them. Make the base of the trays equally as attractive with photo frames. Cover the frames with decorative papers to add more beauty. Number 5. Tray Chalkboard This is another way to beautify your trays. You'll be able to write or design anything you like on your trays if you tape nice chalkboard surfaces to them. Put some ropes too so that you can hang the trays. Number 4. Pretty Pen Pots Make a holder for your writing materials. Just use some decorative papers to cover as many small cans as you can get to contain all pens and stationaries you have to store in there. Number 3. Bandana Pillows You can get creative with your pillows for a change. Depending on how your room is decorated and how you place your pillows, try covering your pillows with bandana material or sew the material to make a decent pillow covering. Number 2. DIY Bottle Garland If you considered having houseplants in your home, this idea will work great for you. Get some bottles, pour water into them, and place the plants or garland. Then hang the bottles with wire, preferably near a window. This will ensure that the plant gets enough sunlight to survive. Number 1. Letters for Home Decor This involves using pieces of wood to form readable words or just letters. Ensure that you join them well enough to get neat and readable results. It is not advisable to use different kinds of font so that the words can be very easy to read. That's it for now. Come back next time for another top 20 list. If you like or tried any of these ideas, please let us know in the comments. And please continue to like and share this video with your friends. Also, press the subscribe button if our channel is new to you. Thanks for watching. Joey Tampkin. I'm with Photos.com, and we're going to chat about how to put up a gallery wall really anywhere you want, in your home, in your office any wall. So I have some examples of gallery walls that we've done with photos.com and I'll kind of walk you through the challenges that we were going through and kind of how we solved them. You could reinvent the space and go to photos.com where we have curated galleries. You want to lay out all of your options. It's a little bit like dating because you have to live with it. Not forever, but like for a little while. So you really want to know your options. Like you want to spend some time with it. And you just don't want to overthink the theme. Like it can really get in your head and cause you to hang up. After you know all your options, you want to kind of look through and say, okay, what doesn't fit here? Like what doesn't feel right? What are you looking at? What's just like, eh, yeah, I don't know if I really want to put that on the wall. I like to pick a focal point. It gives me a starting point. Like when people come into my space, what do I want them to see? And when I come home from a bad day at work or I wake up in the morning, what do I want to look at? You really want to have a lot of butcher paper. And then the other stuff is obvious, like the nails, measuring tape, hardware, stuff you're going to put on the wall. And you need a lot of space. You need to make sure that move all your stuff, have at least two to three hours that you can play. And you need to know the size of your space. Measuring is huge. So when you lay out the butcher paper, you want to trace each image so that you have the exact size of the image. And you can either put the entire butcher paper piece on the wall and actually put the nails in the butcher paper, or this is how I do it. This is my favorite. I like to visualize how it's going to look before I start putting holes in my wall. So you tape up your pieces of paper there. And it's really important to label them. I can't tell you how many people will do this and they didn't like write down what image was what. Back to some more hanging tips. Really where you wanna put the wire is measuring from the wire up to the very, very top of the frame. And then you'll subtract this small amount from the entire middle. At first spacing, I like to say, if you're doing a very, very symmetrical wall, four inches apart, and you can either do two inches, four inches, or six inches high, depending how many different rows you're gonna have and how big the pieces are. My number one tip, 
to walk away from here is double up on your nails. So when you know where to put the nail in the wall where the hook goes, go about an inch and a half on either side of the nail and that's where you want to put two hooks because when you hang the art, one, it'll be more stable but it'll also level it out.